What's up, Guava Ricans? So yesterday I went over uh, the video to digital converter 2.0. This device right here, and like I said yesterday, it works really well. Something I neglected to mention that somebody else asked about in the comments was uh, the frame rate. So it will capture uh, 60 frames per second. And it will be a progressive file, and I didn't notice any interlacing issues with it whatsoever. So um, if you're, you know, feeding it, uh, um, well, obviously you're going to be feeding it interlaced uh, video. Uh, it will deinterlace it, and it will capture at 60 frames. Um, and I didn't notice any drop frames or any signs of um, improper deinterlacing of the of the video. So other than that. I think I touched on everything else in the comments. Any questions that you guys had about the video to digital? Um, so at the same time that I picked that up, uh, the, the video to digital from ClearClick, um, like I said, I paid 50 bucks shipped. Um, I saw a bunch of these on eBay, and this is made by EasyCap. Now EasyCap, uh, they've been around for a while. Uh, sort of a cheap Chinese uh, knockoff, and they make again. Just a myriad of different capture devices, and again, I've owned some of the previous devices, and uh, specifically HDMI capture device and a audio capture device, and uh, I thought it performed well. Again, uh, no complaints with the previous ones that I used to own. Um, I've given away the the HDMI capture device that I used to have, um, but I still have the audio one, which comes in handy every once in a while. So, like I said, uh, they had a bunch of these on eBay, and this is uh, the EasyCap VHS Digi, uh, also known as the EasyCap um, 180. So, EasyCap 180. Um, so, you are watching, obviously, the recording straight from the camera going into this little device, and you'll notice right away that the frame rate is not good. So I paid 50 bucks for this. Uh, I believe they typically sell for anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks. Now looking at it, it's a lot more sleek of a design than uh, the Clear Click. So it is much more compact, and on top of being much more compact, it um, also has a larger screen. So this is a 4.3 inch screen, and it has a built-in battery which would really be ideal for the purpose that I would intend to use one of these devices for again which is for mounting it on uh, vintage camcorders and capturing the analog output directly bypassing the tape mechanisms so you can see here is the the clear click and this is a lot more sleek so by looking at it you think alright big beautiful screen it's going to be a touchscreen device right it is not you have to navigate using these buttons and the sort of um, labels for the buttons are embossed on the back and so it's not very clear to make out so I could see some difficulty there trying to navigate through the menu using that um, because like I said it's embossed and it's not very legible so this just like the clear click will record right to USB so no need for a PC um, this one will also use micro SD card as opposed to the clear click which will use a full size SD card but um, it loses the S video so there's no S video input and the composite is using one of these headphone type jacks which I I'm not a huge fan of but also you know you uh, it, it, it brings down the size considerably so I guess that's a you know a fair trade-off has a headphone output and it uses USB-C um, for power, which is better for USB-C, right, over the micro USB from the clear click. So that's a benefit. Again, HDMI output for monitoring live recordings and or playback. And that's pretty much it. But it performs horribly. Um, I uh, took a look at the file, dragged the file over to the PC after I did a test recording real quick. And it is indeed capturing at 13 frames per second not 30 frames per second 13 so not even half of 30 so that's obviously unacceptable I can't believe anybody will bother to put out a device marketed at capturing VHS 
which uh, can definitely carry 60 fields, which could be converted over to 60 frames per second, much like the clear click is able to do. So uh, it's crazy that they would think that that this is <laughs> passable, you know, uh, that they slapped, you know, slapped this uh, uh, on on the out onto the to the marketplace because it's terrible. So if you see these on eBay. Um, and the the price will be appealing because, like I said, the clear clicks brand new. They're one hundred and forty dollars used, fifty to sixty, and these are around sixty bucks, anywhere from sixty to eighty, uh, brand spanking new. Um, so it's a shame that it performs so poorly. Like I said, you can see as you're looking at this. Let me go ahead and just kind of wave my hand. Thirteen choppy frames per second. Um, so that's unacceptable and it's a shame because this really would have been ideal had this performed um, to the same extent that the clear click does because this would have been a lot easier to uh, sort of find a place to mount it on, on, a, on an old camcorder um, with a, one of these sort of cell phone holder devices right you could use something like this to, to sort of find a way to mount it to fix it to your to your camcorder and it's smaller and it has a built-in battery so that would have been a huge plus for a tapeless camcorder but it performs terribly so don't pick this up if you happen to find these cheap on the internet 13 frames per second unless you're putting together a really crappy uh, slideshow I would definitely not pick one of these up so stay away from this this is going to be going back I'm going to slap this right back on the box and send it right back because this is absolute garbage all right i will catch up with you guys later you guys have a good one